previously on Tiny Echo. Oh, I can go behind him. I didn't realize I could go behind him. There we go. I might have found the new path. Oh no. Oh no. I think my um my uh assumption that there was war might might just be correct. Left her. Um I I'm I'm going down the route that yes, we're in a time of war. Because this looks like a battlefield. Are you okay? Oh no, don't cry. Oh no, we're both crying. Oh, Game, you don't make me sad. Oh, Will a letter make you feel better? This is sad. I'm sorry. Oh, now I'm just sad. I'm even sadder than I was before. Oh, I need to water. Hold on. I know what I, I know what I gotta do. I need a water. He needs he needs a drink. Let me drink my tears. Drink my tears, friend. Hello, burp friend. I have a letter for you, burp friend. Are you okay now? Hooty hoo hoo. Burp with letter. Burps with letter stay together. What happened here? The music is a good indicator about what's happening. No snow. Oh, rain cloud. The other girl got food. You got a rain cloud. Huh. I'm not quite sure what's happening. I am not entirely sure what's happening in this game. Can I help the crying friend? Are we both gonna start crying again? Hey friend, are you okay? Oh. No, we're just sad. Maybe it's how they died. Oh, that's a good shout. That's a good shout, bud. That, that, that could very well be it. Because we're all uh, we're all ghosts and yokai, so that's that's actually a pretty good idea. I can get up there. Oh, there's another person up there looking for bird friends. Where's the next route up? This way. Or what they want the most. What they want the most. Maybe. How do I get up? Some sort of pipe. Oh, some sort of pipe. Okay. So I gotta get the birds to move? There's no way up that I can see. Hmm. 
Can I interact with this? No. How do I get up there? Ah. Uh, you think you know the way you're going and then suddenly you're like, Oh, I'm... I don't know. The lady with the food could have wanted because she died of hunger? Yeah, that's that's actually uh, pretty solid reasoning. That is very solid reasoning. I wish I had paid more attention to the other people's letters when we were giving them to them. To see what spawned when we gave them their letter. Um. Any secrets or something? No. I don't think so. How do I get up? Oh. Hmm. We have to keep an eye on what spawns when we give other people their letters to try and figure out what's happening. Hoot hoot! How... Do I... How do I move up? I can go down... And I can click on verbs. But I can't get off. Hmm. The only person I can interact with, with is a crying person. Can I, like, water the plant while I'm crying? That bird sounded like R2-D2. I wonder if anything else has changed in the other areas since doing this, because there's no way of me getting up. Wait, there is a way on the other side. I knew that there wouldn't just be a path down here for nothing. There's a secret tunnel. Look, look, look. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the mountains. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Hey! We found where the boat landed. That is a big burb. That's a big burb. Those some big burbs. Uh, there's a frog fishing. Hello, sir. Can I catch some fish? I can't go there because the burbs are in the way. Apparently I can't- oh wait. There's a hole. Are the burbs gonna steal me away? Hello burbs. Oh, I scared them away. What are the burbs gonna do now? Oh! Burbs are going back to the nest. Are they going to take away all of the stuff in the way? They're eating the berries. Oh, thank you, Burbs. Very helpful. So many good references today. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Oh, helpful Burb friends. Thank you. Thank you, helpful Burb friends. 
I don't think there's anywhere else I can go here. You gotta love helpful burp friends. Kind of spooky music in that area though. Chilling. Okay. Up we go. Oh, he's still crying. Oh, I'm sorry, friend, but the burps are helping us clear the path. Helpful burp, friends. Thank you, helpful burp, friends. Now we can actually get up. Hello, burp, friends. I'm sorry for scaring you before. Did you enjoy the berries? I hope you did. Do these require water? I feel they may require water. Hello. Letter? Needs some plants for your bees okay i'm gonna i'm gonna start crying again <laughs> let's start crying again so that we can maybe get some water into the pots i feel like that's what needs to be done i'm sorry friend share your sadness with me so i may have your tears He's just so sad. He's just a sad little bird. He's so sad. Poor sad friend. Hmm. Gotta cry. Gotta share my tears so that we can water everything. My tears are very helpful. Can I still cry into other things? Oh, that's all the way up the top. Do this one first. Am I still crying? Yeah, I'm still crying. At least my tears are helping. Helping water everything. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad, but also my tears are being helpful. <laughs> oh, my tears dried up now. Uh, we're still still crying. This will soon have a, a. I'll soon have cried a river. I just cried a river, guys. Flowers for the bees. Oh. Oh, flowers for the bees. That's sweet. I actually like that. That's very nice. Really shows the life cycle. Would you like a letter? What do you get from your letter? Oh, that's very loud. That's... That's a lot of bees in my brain right now. Uh... Get ready for the snap. You got some honey. We got honey in the end. Hmm. I wonder what that could mean. I 
I'm not entirely sure. I'm fast asleep though. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> I'm awake. It's okay. I'm I'm up. Oh. Pestilence from honey because bugs. I think that's a bit of a leap though. Uh generally bees are quite um nurturing and like as a ideologically. Beelzebub's the only thing going through your mind. Yeah, I don't know. I would have said flies, like horse flies and pestilence, but bees, not so much. Bees are kind of life bringers because they help pollinate flowers and keep plant life going. So I wouldn't... I don't know if I would associate bees under Beelzebub's control, but I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. We are in a cave. We're actually underground. They're going on the ground. Boo -da -boo 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 -boo. I don't know. It could be a good. It could be a good reading, but I'm not entirely sure. Look at the parrots and the cute baby birdos. Hello, hello, bird friend. Oh, the baby swapped places. Hello. Hello? Oh, is he sniffing me? Are you sniffing me? I gotta move before they get back, right? Ah! Oh, our arson friend is back. Hello. Could you help this poor old lady set a fire, please? Let's commit arson together and set this thing on fire. Come on, buddy. I love you, little guy. Let's go set things on fire. He really is just like a little syndical. Oh. Oh, no! Oh, no, buddy! He melted away! My friend. My friend. Hey. You nice and warm now? Wow, so cute. Very cute noises. Would you like a letter? Again, very loud in, in my ears. She must have been in a house fire, right? It sounds like fire everywhere. Ready for the snap. She has fire. She has fire. I would assume that we're going off of the idea that these are the ways that people died. And you were correct, Bun. That that's that's what's happening. Oh no, I just realized that she's pregnant! Oh, now I'm sad. Should have died in a fire, she died in the cold. Yeah. Uh. Poor lady. Poor lady. No, don't you get a rest. Let's go, we gotta keep moving, friend. Yeah, big ol' oof. Big ol' oof. What is this? What kind of house is this? Is this a potter's house? Tiny, tiny friend. Tiny baby friend. Hello. No, come back. No, come back! How do I... Aww, oh, I have to come back for you, I assume. Doesn't seem to want to speak to me right now.
Is this gonna lead us out to the tree sitting in the... Yes, it is! Hello, friends. I've been trying to get to you for quite some time. You guys having some gossip? Uh... Do you not want my letter? Uh, I don't think they want my letter. Oh, there we go. Oh, I need to join the circle. Sure, we can have we can have the uh, chit chat. Got some nice tea. Great, we love tea. Oh. Hello. Are you the master of tea? Would you like a letter? He's got like a cool Aztec head head um head thing head. Oh. Who dies making tea? Did you smoke yourself out? Your kettle explode? What a horrible way to go! All you wanted was to enjoy some tea! I'm so sorry. All he wanted to do was enjoy some nice pe piping hot tea and he... What a, what a horrible way to go! All I wanted was tea, but apparently I'm not allowed to have that. You guys know me on this channel. That's probably gonna how I probably how I'm gonna die. I'm just trying to make myself a nice cup of tea. Being boiled alive. Mm. There's implications there that you makes you think why would that happen? Why? How? Why? What happened to him that he ended up being boiled alive? Like. Maybe he got scolded? Maybe he got burned from being scolded? I don't know, who knows? Oh no, don't die! I'm- uh, hello! Oh! I can close them. Now you gotta talk to me. We're technically all dead because we're ghosts already. We're finding out how these people, ghosties, died, I think is how this works. Hello? Got your letter? Yeah, maybe. We're not entirely sure yet, Bright Lupus. I hear a lot of running water. So maybe they drowned? There's also clickety clacking. My hand broke there for a second. He's just reading his book. Hmm. Maybe he got distracted and ended up drowning. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure about that one. How many more people do we have to give a letter to? I have two more people to give letters to. And we can go this way. Not entirely sure about that one, guys. I I would assume drowning, considering there's lots of running running water noises. Um wasn't there another direction to go at the beginning of this? Um, I feel real bad about that poor pregnant lady. I think the noise is how they died and what they get is what they wanted the most. Hmm. That's a good theory. That is a good theory.
Can you explain why uh, the ambience, the ambiental noise is so important in this, in this game? It's the kind of thing it would take me like two playthroughs to, to do, to f try and figure out everyone's thing, because I wasn't super paying attention to some of these until I kind of figured, oh, maybe something else is going on and it's not just a cute game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a cute game, but also there's something else going on and it kind of took me a while to realize that. Is this where the boat crashed? Oh, we finally made it to where the boat crashed. Oh, hello? I may have committed arson and accidentally broke your boat. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go inside now, though. Somebody in here that needs a letter. Is the final letter gonna be from me? I bet you the final letter is gonna be for me. That's how it tends to work. Achievement unlocked. Traveler. Hi, friend. <sighs> Persistently curious. Achievement unlocked as well, because I keep clicking on things. Plausible deniability. Oh no. Are you the one who needs the letter? They're weaving a basket. Would you like a letter? Oh, there's three of them. So, industrial revolution factory injuries is all I'm getting out of this. Right? And they just wanted more time. Oh, the fates. Oh yes, because there's three sisters. Good shout, bun. Good shout. It's cool that there's like a... You would hope old age. You could only hope old age. It's cool there's like a mixture of like uh, different folklore is going on in this. 12 out of 13. Oh, the crow! The, the, the crow is the last one we need to see. Uh, and you know who is depicted as a crow? Hades. <laughs> we found we found that out playing Spirit Fair that sometimes Hades is depicted as a giant bird. So there we go. We had a collision a uh, collision of um of what I would only think as different folklores mashed in together for this game. The mix of the Japanese, the Greek. Yeah, crows are last stop. Gotta go all the way back. <laughs> yeah, ironic. He's like the first one you encounter. One of the first you encounter. Our our friend has stopped crying. Death is the last stop, yeah. Quite literally. Oh wait, hold on. I just noticed there's this really nice reflection in this puddle. Oh, that's sweet. They have nice reflections in the water. Okay. Well, last letter might very well definitely be for me then, if that's if this is the case. Hey, 
crow friend. You want to be nice to me, please? Please be nice to me. I'm just your friendly neighborhood eyeball delivery person. Okay? I keep clicking on the, the dog by accident. I'm sorry, doggo. Are you going to be real loud? Are you going to shout at me again? Hello? Oh, you're still very much loud. close to him. Um... I still can't get close to him. How am I supposed to get close to him to give him the letter? Because he's still really loud. When I get close to him, he gets loud. He's like, go away. Oh, eldritch terror noises. And then I get... I don't want to move. Maybe I can only move when he quiets down? I think I can only move when he's quiet. Okay. Hello. Oh, I can actually get close to you now. Hi. You want a letter? Oh. Why do you sound like a telephone? Letter? He sounds like a telephone. <laughs> An Eldrick pickle. <laughs> what happened to you, Mr. Crow? Achievement unlocked. Delivery done. Oh, this is some Eldrick terror music if I ever heard anything. Ominous Oz. We have to listen to the music to figure out what happens to him. Hmm. I don't know. It just sounds like general terror. You guys ready for this now? He does. He does look a bit like death. Maybe he is the embodiment of death. We'll find out what happens now. Oh, I've given everyone their letters and they're all... All their shadows are surrounding me. Hello? Um... I guess I gotta go back to my little house. I didn't even notice Rory, not gonna lie. Back to my... Back to my little house. Hmm. Do we start all over again? Oh! Oh, they're leaving! <laughs> they all have their letters to the Eldritch Bowl. <laughs> They're growing the plants. Okay. Nature, yes.
we have the fire. One of the ones we had to do was make give a plant to someone. We had to give fire to somebody. The water, we had to create a river. So I, I guess each of the uh, yokai that we saw were all different aspects of life. You have a uh, no face. Yeah, yokai are basically just Japanese. What the Japanese call their spirits. Yokai tend to be more evil spirits. There's a name for, um, like non evil. Like yokai tend to be like evil spirits that were never human in the first place. And there's another name for spirits that were once human and are no longer human. And I can't remember what it's called. But that's the end of it, I guess. Nature spirits just doing nature spirit stuff. Yeah, that's it, Radar Unicorn. I guess what it means is that each of the spirits that we gave letter to were like a different part of life. So we had like the plant, the fire, the food, the water. We had life, death, and time. There's probably a few in there I missed that I just didn't pick up on. Uh, Oni is a specific type of yokai, I'm pretty sure. Uh, like, each of them are, like, um, for specific things. Like, Oni were never human, but they're, like, demons. And then there's, like, the, um, oh god, I can't remember what they're called, but there's, like, a, there's ones that were once human. And then they've lost their humanity and they turn into Oni. Uh, yokai just generally encompasses like spirits. I like that game though. That was very nice. The music is very good. The visuals were stunning. It was a nice short game to have. I was the messenger for death. Oh yeah. That would make a lot of sense. That would honestly make a lot of sense. Um, I don't know if it's Japanese, but I know that uh, Kami are nature spirits. Yes, Kami is, uh, is specifically Japanese. Kami are basically gods. Um, and they rule over yokai. Kami are like the um, highly empowered good spirits is basically what it is. We're telling them to pass on. I see, I don't know whether to interpret that the the spirits that we were giving letter to were actually people and they died or if they are actually like the embodiment of all things of life like nature or water and the fire. Um, the embodiment of time and death themselves is kind of what I took out of it instead. I'm sure there's lots of different ways. I think they might have made the game, uh, like, open for interpretation. Because, like, maybe we're looking into it too much. Uh, who knows? <laughs> maybe we are all just looking into it too much and it's just supposed to be a cute game. <laughs> you thought that they were nature spirits, six of them. Yeah, they're... The thing is, there are 12 spirits in total, and for the first, like, six of them, I didn't really notice. I didn't really pay as much attention as I probably should. <laughs> Steam just says little spirits. But it's like, you can tell by the art style, it's heavily inspired by Japanese folklore because of the type of creatures that they created. Like, you got Mr. Eyeball Guy, you got lots of fox spirits and uh, frog spirits, the birds. There's kind of a mix of every every kind of folklore in there as well, because you have the possibility of maybe Hades and the um the fates. I'm looking at the like reviews to try and see if there's any anything about it that might give any hints. I wanna see what this person says and see what they think about it before we go on a break. Uh if game theory taught me anything, it's I should look deeper into games meanings. Um I think at the start of the game, the things symbolize people, and if you click on them, it shows something that they need or want, but don't have because the land has no resources. These people are dying. The shadows are kind of like their prayers, uh, so to speak, and their hands drop letters down to Emmy. So that's the the faceless creatures at the very, very beginning of the, of the game, and the ones that we saw at the end when the nature was regrowing. Um. 
We have to deliver these letters to other characters by use of long, confusing passageways and puzzles. And what happens when we give them letters? There's an odd sound effect and a shadow grabs the letter instead of the character itself. When the letter is seen in a strange room with very loud sound effects, rain music, people talking, fire, bongo drums. Um, a hand comes out from the letter and snaps to get the character's attention. Uh, and they show us something. Um, I think these people are pray praying for what they need to... And, and Emmy is the messenger bringing their prayers to the other characters. I think these characters might symbolize the gods. Uh, because in the end what they're holding up when you deliver their letter to them is seen given to the people we saw at the start of the game. And the gods hear their prayers and gave them these things to survive. That's actually kind of like a combination of all of our our theories and chat, <laughs> right? That's kind of like a combination of all the things that we were saying. So the people at the beginning were struggling and they wanted help and we were delivering their uh, wants and needs for help to these uh, to these spirits and the spirits then which probably represented each of the prayers that they wanted and could give them so like nature water fire food uh, then were able to help yes it's everything except except for gods they're just spirits so we had like we had like the majority <laughs> of everything together but i think what this person's saying kind of fits all of our ideas together a bit more cohesively so we were there but not quite 